Hi. Hi. We're super professional. And so we, we have our camera strapped to a suitcase <laughs> right now. <laughs> and we're sitting in the airport. Um, but we just wanted to tell you about our adventures with Jesus um, by going to the Love Does conference this weekend. This was our first official business trip, and it was just super, we went into it kind of like praying, we really have a lot of expectations, but just praying for Measurely More and praying for that each person that we met and each um, like connection that we had would, would mean something. Um, so we got to our hotel on Wednesday, yep. and we spent our first night in downtown Austin, which was beautiful, really fun, um, really fun but some really awesome people, and so Thursday, um, the conference started. The conference started. We every morning we would pray that we would find someone to take us to the conference because our hotel was like 15 minutes away and a super expensive cab ride. So, in every morning we met new people, which was awesome, <laughs> incredible people. Yeah, the first day this lady Jamie chauffeured us around and it was really helpful and she was such a blessing and we got to hear about her life, which was really cool. Um, but we went into the conference and we were like, oh, let's just sit over here because no one's sitting over here. <laughs> Classic. And um, we ended up sitting next to all the speakers. Yeah. And awesome. I, like, one of the first things we did is thumb war with the people next to us. And I thumb warred with this guy named John. And John Richmond Cotton. John Cotton Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John. John Cotton um, Sorry, John. <laughs> um, and his beautiful daughter, her name is Grace Warren. Um, but she and him were there. And Basically, okay, so I thumb word with him, and then later found out that he is the prosecuting attorney for the Department of Justice um, about human trafficking cases, awesome. um, and worked with IJM and a bunch of NGOs, so that was really, really cool to get to meet him and his daughter, Grace Lauren. Um, she's such a sweetheart, but she's a sweetheart. yeah, that was one of the first and um, greatest connections that we made there. We got to meet Bob Goff um, our first day and we told him all about SAS and just thanked him for this uh, giving us the tickets to come and we gave him an SAS bracelet and he put it on when we were talking to him and um, the last day of the conference I looked down and his arm was around Sweet Maria and he has still had a bracelet on. He wore it the entire conference and I just started crying. <laughs> so I just felt like wow this guy is just so inspiring and it just believes in people's dreams which is just so incredible um yeah that so was really cool so skip to the next day and so friday we had the conference all day long as well and um let's see where do you want to start um i'm trying to remember it's like a blur i know i wrote this down but um we heard a lot of incredible speakers and um just got the opportunity to be really inspired and just loving people well like what what that means just loving the next person in front of us and um we got to I mean okay so well first of all we were like praying about um, people giving us a ride and we met this awesome family who gave us a ride there and then we met these two girls at our hotel and they were going to give us a ride home and then we get to the conference and we're like oh Hey, you're, you're on, on stage. stage. <laughs> you're singing. Um, so these girls, their names are Jill and Kate, and you should totally check them out. They're awesome. They have awesome music. They awesome are super hearts. talented. Yeah. yeah, just love Jesus. Um, but yeah, and so we got to hang out with them, and then they invited us to come to dinner with them afterwards. Um, and so we did, and it was just the greatest dinner ever. Um, two of the other speakers ended up showing up. Um, Jeremy Cowart, he is a, a world photographer and he does a lot of photography shoots for like, um, just all sorts of stuff, yeah. but he did this, he does a couple awesome projects that you should check out, um, you could just follow him on Twitter, <laughs> you can too, um, and John McCuth, who is a best-selling author, um, he wrote Quitter, right? Yeah, and then a couple other ones, but, So yeah. we were just sat at this random table of random people, we were at least, we, as we were sitting there, just listening to everyone talk, we were like, how did we even end up at this table? Like, we're not too, like, qualified to be like, here, but... Hey, we're college girls from <laughs> we're Michigan! <22. laughs> um, but it was awesome, because they so really cool. genuinely cared about our dreams and our passions and wanted to hear about SAS, and it was just so cool to be inspired by them and listen to their stories yeah. of how hear they their started. Dreams. Yeah, hear their dreams, and... It was really awesome. Um, and then, after dinner, um, we got to hang out with a couple guys who we met... Um, 
just the day before, and um, basically just two local Austin guys, and they um, listened to us tell our story for like way too long. Like way this is long. the longest version I've ever heard, and I was like, I'm so sorry. Like this yeah. is the girl just version. Like vomiting the story on you, <laughs> but they spoke so much truth and wisdom and some scripture into our lives. Oh about, my gosh! And they were stoked about us, I guess, and like wanted to run a, want to run a concert in Austin. We were just like at the end of the night. We were just so blown away by the, the way that God worked in every single conversation we had oh at Love Does and every single person that we met. Um, and shout out to Tim Sure because you rock in <laughs> just like the joy you bring. And this honestly, us being at Love Does all started from that conversation I had with Tim about bringing Stephen to our first concert. Yeah. You know, and we just, love you, Tim. We do love you, Tim. Thank you so much. And Thanks for believing in us yeah. and taking a risk on some college girls running a concert in Michigan. Seriously. Yeah. We really appreciate you. But yeah, we just wanted to share what God did at Love Does. Sorry that this is kind of long. Um, <laughs> Sorry that's so awkward. <laughs> so professional. And yeah, we're super professional. <laughs> um, American Airlines, shout out. Shout out to you, American <laughs> Airlines. Um, but we love you guys. Love you. Thanks. <laughs>